All right, 97.7 Outlaw Radio FM listeners, we are live in full effect right here, right now. We got the one and only, we got Reed Bricks right here live on the line. How you doing this evening? Uh, what's up, what's up, DJ? How are you coming tonight? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm doing pretty good. How's everything down on your end, man? I noticed that the U.S. is starting to open back up, man. So that's actually pretty cool to be able to just be able to get back to normal life. Yeah, man, we're back, we're back in full swing of things down here in Minnesota, man. Uh, loving it, loving it. Life's back open, shit, back to the grind, back to the money, you know, shit. Well, the money never stopped here, but back to the usual, you know? Hey, man, that's the best. That's, 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 that is the best way to be. Down here in Canada, we're slowly transitioning uh, into the third stage. So we're going by stages. So we're doing a slow open up. And I'm seeing all these videos on Facebook and Instagram of concerts. And I'm getting kind of jealous, man, because I, I, I miss going to concerts yeah. personally. Yeah. Totally, totally. What, uh, you guys open up, what, on the 5th? You guys open up a little bit? We opened up a little bit there on the, uh, on, I believe, on July 2nd. But when I when I say a little bit, it was just a little bit. It wasn't very much of a difference. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally, totally. So, uh, everything going, huh? Everything's just trying to get right for y'all. Pretty you know, much, man. For y'all to get it all right, help you open up like us, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how's the music scene up there? What, what's, it, what's it like? Y'all, y'all tuned in to Reed Bridge yet? I'm going to go back to my area, per se. I'm trying to get them all into the hip-hop side of things in my area, but normally out in Toronto, Ottawa area, those are the those are the real, those are are the the areas that really that are into hip-hop. You know, I'm in a really um, yeah. type of bougie type area, man, a lot of rich snobs. So I'm, I'm, it sounds bad to say, but it's a truth. So I'm trying to get them into the whole hip-hop side of things. Hey, it's, it's, it's a new door there, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, gateway to get us there, you know what I'm saying? But I want to take and you I, back to the yeah. beginning, man, of your amazing career, bro. I, I just got to ask, dude, like, what actually made you decide to get into the music industry? Because I got to say, man, you were a phenomenal hip-hop artist. Man, truthfully, it's just my life, my life stories. You know what I'm saying? I had so many friends with talent around me, I was wasting it. Uh, honestly, I didn't pick up a microphone until I was 24 years old, 25 years old. I just started speaking my life story about it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I had a lot to say on my homeboy who just dead locked up, uh, you know, uh, just not doing it the way they should be. So I just took it and ran with it, honestly. You know, if you hear, it's true. And also as well, man, in 2016, you actually dropped the album titled Paper Root, Run This Town, man. I was always wondering, what's the story and inspiration behind that phenomenal record? And is it still out there to actually be streamed or purchased today? Okay, yo, thank you, thank you, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, Paper Rock won this town, man, I actually wrote that whole album while I was in prison. In 2013, I wrote that album. I just envisioned it, you know, who I am, Reed Bridge the Hustler. Uh, I just took my whole vision and was like, you know what? I run the Paper route every day, this is my life. This is what I do, so I took you on a venture of my life. Right now, I'm in the mix of Paper Route 2. Uh, should be dropping by the end of this summer. Uh, Real Deal inter- Entertainment, MVNG. Uh, we're working hard, man. You know what I'm saying? And I got I got to ask, man, because I know that album's a, a fairly a couple years old, but do you have any hard copies available for the old school listeners that really do still love that CD format? Yeah, yeah, we got uh, some hard copies. I'm sure uh, our Amazon link is still up on the page, stuff like that. Uh, we got the Q-Scan code uh, on Facebook and stuff like that, so I'm sure the album's... Uh, we got a couple hard copies laying around. But also, as you mentioned a few moments ago about Real Deal Entertainment, man, I was wondering, how did you initially get connected with them? And of course, like, how, how did that record deal come to be for you? Man, Real Deal Entertainment is just real for us, man. You know, uh, when the green, when the green comes to far away with me, you know, uh, pretty much family just always had open arms for me. When he heard, when he heard the CD, he just opened up and was like, it's the same fall. You know, uh, and, it's been, we've been running every since, you know, uh, great minds think alike, uh, trying to get somewhere, we're starting to open these doors, and pretty much, uh, we're just on the grind every day, man, they got, they got the same vision I got for my music career, so, I love the support they push behind me, and we're doing it. And I was going to ask, man, who's actually, uh, signed alongside you, like, who, who are your label mates currently today in 2021? I got, I got Divine Show. I got Suze, I got um, 
Am I missing anybody? I think I'm missing somebody. I got Devon Shea, I got Cruze, I got Goku. Yeah, we just uh, we just got with Goku. You, you, you interviewed Goku last night. Real good cat, real good cat. Uh, I ain't got a, I ain't got a chance to sit down with him personally yet, but I, I love his music. You know, uh, I don't think I'm missing anybody else. We're working with other host of artists. Mob. Uh, shout out to my brother Bella. Uh, man, if I'm missing anybody, you know what I'm saying. I apologize. Well, yeah, we're working hard, man. And I gotta say as well, man, I think yourself and Goku would actually be absolutely phenomenal on a song together, man. You know, just a, I think with your guys' like just styles of hip hop in one joint, I think would be absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, man, I love that kid's energy, man. It's nice, you know. Uh, hopefully, you know, Katie and Wooly get it put together, and we we make an album. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and push it hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that kid got a lot of talent. I love what he's doing with it. I'm happy he brought it home to us. You know what I'm saying? And you also did some phenomenal work as well with uh, Chase Milan, man. I was wondering, how did yourself and Chase get connected? And of course, do you guys have any current uh, current future projects currently in the works? Yeah, Chase Mula. Chase Mula was a good dude, man. Uh, we had a song on his album, uh, Billy Gangster, called Chase the Mula. I featured on it. I got a little video plug. Go look it up. It's uh, called The Bubble Up and uh, Chase the Mula together. It's a little video duo, pretty nice, but uh, yeah, me and Chase Mula, man, just got together, it was natural, uh, you know, sorry for that kid's loss, man, he was a hell of a talent, you know, I hate that he uh, had to go out the way he did, R.P. Chase Mula, 100, man, number loss. And I gotta say, most definitely rest in paradise, man. I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that Chase actually passed away. Passed away, man. So most definitely, my thoughts and prayers go out to him. Oh, yeah. Go out to him and his family. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I put it out like that. Yeah, tra tragic incident, man. Real tragic incident. Life is taken by gun violence, man. Real special kid, man. I hated to see him go like that. So it's all love on my hand for Chase Mula, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I keep throwing more. Rest in paradise, King. And you also had the opportunity to actually open up for uh, Eric Bellinger a few times, man. I was wondering, how, yeah. what was that experience like, man? And, of course, did you get the opportunity to chop it up with Eric before or after the show? Yeah, yeah, we chopped it up a little bit, man. He was a real cool dude. Uh, you know, just uh, took a little bit of the game I could get from him being in the industry. Uh, well, we ran, what, three shows with him. The AZ show was the wildest. So, uh, you know, that was fun. I'm sure you can find some uh, footage on YouTube. You look up the Eric Bellinger. Arizona show is pretty nice. Uh, man, like I said, uh, it was just cool being around him. You know, he was down to earth, dude. Just, you know, just a person. That's all I could ask for. You know, he didn't really treat, didn't really treat us on no booze and shit, nothing like that. Uh, just 100 with it. And also, as well, in 2019, you actually released the album Stamped, Sealed, and Delivered, which, in my personal opinion, is yeah. such an amazing record, man. And I was always wondering, what's the story and creative process behind that iconic record? Stamped, Sealed, and Delivered was pushed by my wife, actually. My wife was challenging me to go outside the box a little bit and tell my life's story without the street side. You know, I, I got some street in there, but if you listen, I got stories about my kid, uh, a story about her, uh, just, uh, you know, life's up and down, like a stamps you don't deliver like a brick, baby, I'm, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that one was about. It was, uh, to keep us mo motivated to put this next one, the second route too, man. And also, that was actually the next question on my list, man, when you actually brought up Paper Route 2. I actually noticed as well that you were actually, like, start, starting production on that on that record, man. I was wondering, what can our listeners actually expect from this brand new release when it does actually get dropped to the general public? Honestly, it's my best work by far, man. I'm so proud of this work right here. Uh, it, it's that work that, you know, when, you, when, you sit, when I'm sitting in my car, I like to sit down, roll up, and listen to what I do. I got to leave the studio, man, just vibe out, bring the brain's tears in my eyes just to see that I'm, I'm reaching that level to where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? It's just like uh, greatness, and I'm, I'm getting there. You know what I'm saying? I feel it. Uh, uh, the people around me, uh, you know, is, is, is acknowledging it and you know we're just rocking out and I know you probably can't let too many cats out of the bag pertaining to this new project but I have to ask man uh, who, who who are some of the individuals that's actually going to be featured on Paper Route 2 Paper Route 2 let's see I got Bella I got Bully Goat I got Bank Rose I got Nate Mills um let's see am I missing anybody I think that's about it on my feature side 
I got some high production. I got a track out of Minnesota uh, on a couple tracks. I got uh, Kevin Triple Sevens. I got uh, I got uh, my guy out of St. Louis. Uh, I can't think of his name right now. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. But yeah, he's super dope industry uh, industry club that Willie and Katie plugged me up with. Uh, man, just uh, some great production, great music all the way through. But I gotta ask, man, what is next for yourself, Reed Bricks, man? Because I, I do know that you know you're working on a new record. You got you did some phenomenal, amazing work so far in the music industry. But I have to ask, man, is there anything we missed? Anything else you still want to talk about or promote? Yeah. man. Uh, honestly, man, I'm getting ready to get married next uh, next month. So you know that's where all my focus is right now. To that until uh, once I'm married, we're gonna drop the album after that. Stuff like that, man. Shout out to my fiance, Victoria Handy. Uh, a couple weeks away, man. We doing this. Uh, I love you, baby. And I gotta say, man, congratulations on that, man. You know what I mean? It definitely is gonna go fine. But I gotta say, man, congratulations on uh, on on getting married. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. But also, oh, with uh, the... oh sorry hey. about that. Read my apologies. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, man, so this is the time in the interview quickly that I give a chance for the individual that does slide into the radio station airwaves. Just a chance to give shout-outs to whomever they want to give shout-outs to. But most of all, man, your social media handles. That way our listeners can follow you and stay updated on everything. Read Bricks if they're not already doing so. All right, man, it's uh, at the real Reed Bricks at Snapchat. That's me right there. Catch Reed Bricks on Facebook. That's R-E-E-D-B-R-I-X-X. And uh, also on Instagram, Reed Ricks, R E E D B R I X X. Am uh, I missing any? Any? I don't think I'm missing anything else. Spotify, iTunes, all that. Reed, Reed Ricks, uh, YouTube. I'm everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just look it up. Support. We appreciate it. We're trying to do a big for y'all, man. Minnesota, we love you. And VMG, uh, Real Deal Entertainment, Bully Goat. You all in Arizona doing it big, baby. Uh, my brother. Willie Go dropping a video tomorrow with uh, Solo Lucci. It's a pretty big deal right there. So, uh, man, we just tuned in, ready to turn up, man. 2021 hours, man. We ready to run with it. And I got to say, first and foremost, man, thank you so much for just taking the time out of your busy evening and sliding into the 97.7 Outlaw Radio FM airwaves, man. It definitely was an honor and most definitely a privilege, man. And hopefully down the line we can make this happen again sometime soon. Oh, we, we definitely gonna make it happen again. It's home right here, man. Appreciate you. None other. DJ Immortal, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you as well, brother. Thank you so much, man, and definitely have yourself a wonderful night. Oh, right, you too.